This is one of the worst commercial diving accidents in history. Now, those of you who follow me know that I was a commercial diver, underwater welder, but there are an elite few who will become saturation divers, which I was not. But these guys work at extreme depths, 500 feet and below. Now, you cannot just dive down that deep, do your work, and come right back up again, because at depth, the nitrogen is building up in your blood, and as you ascend in the water column, as the pressure decreases, it will bubble up, it will basically boil you from the inside. It's what's known as the bends. But at those depths, coming up too quick will absolutely kill you. So how they fix that is the whole time these guys are working for a month, two months, they live in a tiny compression chamber or hyperbaric chamber that's in the belly of a ship or an oil rig. And when they go to do their work, they get in a dive bell, brings them down to depth, when they're done, they get back in the dive bell, it comes back up, it remates to the chamber, and the whole time that chamber, the dive bell, it's all pressurized to the same depth that they're working at at the bottom of the ocean, okay? So step aboard the Biford Dolphin Oil Rig 1983. We've got four divers, Coward, Lucas, Helovic, and Bergerson. Now, Lucas and Coward are already up top, they're in the hyperbaric chamber, they're resting. Helovic and Bergerson have just completed a dive. They're in the dive bell. It comes up and it mates to the hyperbaric chamber. So they're going to climb in to the hyperbaric chamber where they can rest on their cots. But before they can do that, they've got to turn around and they've got to shut the door between the chamber and the dive bell so that the dive bell and the little section connecting it can be depressurized so the dive bell can be removed. So Bergerson's already made his way in. Helovic's the last one. He turns around to shut the door and he gets it almost all the way shut when one of the tenders on the outside, for some reason a tender is support staff on the outside, he releases the clamp that's holding the dive bell onto the chamber. Now, when he does this, there is explosive decompression. The pressure inside the chamber where all the divers at goes from nine atmospheres to one atmosphere in an instant. The three divers who are further away, their blood instantly boils. They're killed almost instantly. Helovic is also killed almost instantly, but in a much more gruesome manner. There's still that little gap where the door's almost shut and he is sucked out through it. His organs from his chest and his stomach are expelled explosively in a 30 meter swath across the room. The dive bell is blown off. It hits both of the tenders. It kills one instantly and grievously wounds the other. 